Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, I thought I'd bring you through an at-home day in the life. I began my morning by making my bed. I try to do this every day and I feel like it kind of gets me off to a good start. Then we had some laundry to get done and I actually woke up earlier than normal this day, so it was kind of nice to get all of this stuff done before Aubrey was awake. So I have a question for you guys. So when you are dealing with socks, whether they're yours or your significant others or your kids, and they are all bundled up or whatever, or inside out, do you turn them right side out before you wash them? Or do you just wait until like after they're all dried? I'm just kind of curious to hear what you guys do. I'm kind of torn. Sometimes I do it after and sometimes I do it before thinking it'll make my life easier. But anyways, let me know in the comments. Then I decided to whip up some breakfast and that was gonna be pancakes this morning. I thought I would kind of go over the top since I woke up earlier. And I also made some homemade whipped cream, which is delicious. I've shared this in the past. Shout out to my friend Casey who gave me the recipe, but it is just a half a cup of powdered sugar and one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream and then a teaspoon of vanilla and you whip it up and it is so good, you guys. Um, I use this for the pancakes and then later on in the day when I make some hot cocoa for myself. But then we're going to whip up some pancake mix and this mix is so good. I don't know how to pronounce the name, but I really like this brand and I see myself you pretty much only using this in the future. And instead of doing like individual pancakes or using a muffin pan like I normally do, I thought I would make the pancakes on a sheet pan and just kind of cook it at 350 for a little over 10 minutes. And it comes out like, you know, not like toasted brown like you would if you were frying them like individually, but it's so much easier to feed a larger group of people. So I highly recommend this. I also almost forgot the chocolate chips on like a little bit more than half the pan. So I had to throw those on uh, pretty much right after I threw the pan in the oven. And then it was just time to clean up and set up for breakfast. So at this point, I decided to check on Aubrey. It was already 9.20 and she was still sleeping. And I was really like debating because normally I would sleep in until like nine. I was really debating on whether or not I should wake her up. But I kind of have a slight cold and I was worried she was gonna come down with it as well. So I just decided, you know what? Like obviously she needs rest. So I'm just gonna let her rest and we'll see about nap time later on what the plan is, but I prepared her little pancakes, cut them up and got them all ready for when she was ready to come down. And since she was still sleeping, I decided to prep for a TikTok try video later in the afternoon. You guys voted and asked me to make a pumpkin roll that I saw on TikTok. So this is just me kind of prepping the ingredients and doing all of the work before actually filming this portion of the video for, I believe, my next video for you guys. So yeah, that's me getting all ready and just trying to make life a little bit easier when it comes to filming because I figured I wouldn't have enough time to film everything before Aubrey woke up, but I could at least prep the ingredients and make my life a little bit easier that way. But by the time I was done with that, it was time to go get Aubrey. Hi, my pumpkin. I brought my puppy back. Ah. Mommy, puppy, fix me. 
He kicked. She kicked you. Uh, his head made me sick. Oh. But that hurt me. Oh, puppy, say sorry. I'm sorry, Aubrey. I'm okay. I love you. Aubrey. <laughs> Well, we're going to get you up and change your diaper and eat pancakes. I need pancakes. Yeah. So let's wake up today. The sun woke up today? Yes. Yeah, the sun woke up a while ago. Now we can go on the major walk. <laughs> now we're on a major walk, Mommy. We can go on a nature walk. Nature walk. You Wait love your up. nature walk. Wait up, mommy. Okay. All right. Let me get you ready, and then we're gonna eat breakfast. You're gonna get a bowl to put your whipped cream in. Can I put this in my own bowl? Yes. Here? Yes. I'll let you scoop it out. Can we say our prayers? Thank you for saying your prayers. Let's dish out your whipped cream. Deal? Okay, Mommy. I want you to get the spoon right there and scoop out how much whipped cream you want and put in the bowl. Is that good? Whoa, that's a lot. Okay. I'm not done, Mommy. Okay. Now, do you want some strawberries too? Oh, good manners. Let me get your hair out of your way. No, no you want your hair in your face? Yes. <laughs> no, there's no hairbands here. There's hairbands. No. Yes. No. Is that yummy? Mm-mm. Sweet. It's sweet, yeah. Mm -hmm. Aw, I love you. So when Aubrey was eating breakfast, I wanted to start my little pumpkin roll and decided to let her go ahead and use the jumper to kind of get out some energy and kind of preoccupy her so that I could actually get some baking done and not be like too distracted. Thankfully, since I had everything measured out, the whole baking process went fairly quickly and then she was back for a snack and it was time to kind of just clean up. You can see I had made my roll, I had made my frosting and I was just kind of waiting to assemble it. Since I had some butter out for the recipe, I thought I would let a little bit more soften so that I could replenish my little butter crock that I told you guys about in a previous video. It's an awesome product. Highly recommend you check it out. I'd like to thank Malhai for sponsoring this portion of today's video. They gave us a beanbag toss game and it's actually three games in one. You can do this little like dart game with these little velcro balls and then they have a little cornhole side of the of the little game where you do like a beanbag toss and it has little dinosaurs on it which is kind of cute because Aubrey had like a full dinosaur phase and the beanbags are also cute because they have the little dinosaur feet on them. And you can use these bean bags on the third side of this little device to play some tic-tac-toe and it comes with little pegs if you want to go ahead and use it outside. I really liked how everything came in just like one little bag. This thing pops open and uses velcro to set it up and it's really easy to set up and use and Aubrey and I use this for a good chunk of the day. Wow! <laughs> You're gonna 
toss it. Whoop! <gasps> and it sticks. Okay. Yay! Woo! You got 300 points. Ooh, with a bounce. Good job. <gasps> She was throwing the bean bags like a foot away from the actual board itself, but um, I think she really enjoyed herself and has a pretty good arm at times as well, which was pretty impressive. So um, if you are looking for a fun little game to play with your kiddos, I think they recommend ages three to eight. So we've got a good number of years for her to use this and we can practice our math by adding up our scores and you know just kind of practice our throws if she wants to be a softball player like her mama was and we also took this outside so that i could see kind of how secure it held up with the little pegs but it held up really well in the grass and overall we just had a really good time playing with this If this seems like a product that you would like to purchase for either yourself or someone with young little kids, I will go ahead and put a link down in the description box for your convenience so that you can pick this up yourself. Collapsing it also was pretty easy. I just undid the Velcro and then twisted it like one of those windshield sun protectors and it collapsed nicely and fit right back into the bag along with all of the pieces. So again, I'd like to thank Malhai for sponsoring this portion of today's video. We really enjoyed this product and I can see myself using it again with Aubrey as well as her cousins for many days to come. After playing with the game, Aubrey was ready to go on a little nature walk, and so I pushed her around in this car for a pretty long while, to be honest. I stopped filming because it was just getting a little repetitive, and you're going to get to hear what I got to hear for most of the ride. And then after our seemingly very long walk, I made some TikTok mac and cheese. I've shared this recipe kind of version on the channel before. And then after lunch, my mom offered to watch Aubrey for like about an hour. And so they were just kind of playing with all of Aubrey's cars while I went upstairs and started editing some videos for you guys. You're gonna get to see Jack kick me in a little bit. And then after that hour was up, I headed downstairs and was really debating on whether or not to give Aubrey a nap. But because she slept in, I was, you know, really torn. So I just let her watch some TV so that I could keep editing videos. And I didn't finish at all <laughs> during that time, but I needed to get some other things done. I took the laundry out, folded that, made some hot cocoa and kept editing videos while she was playing with Legos and just kind of having the show in the background. Then we headed out to a slightly earlier than usual dinner. We had already been at Del Taco for a little while with my parents here. 
Um, so it was a nice little outing with them. Aubrey seemed to enjoy herself. And I want to recommend getting these water enhancers and just getting a cup of water whenever you guys go to restaurants. It saves money and you can really choose whatever flavor the kids like and then they feel like they're also getting a fancy restaurant drink, but you're not paying much extra for it. Just whatever the water enhancer is. So yeah, we had a really enjoyable evening for dinner and Aubrey was really cute. So it has been quite the day. Um, I'm finally sitting down after kind of getting Aubrey to bed. I handed her off to Juan so that they could spend some time together. And I am about to enjoy my little pumpkin roll here. It looks really good. I'm excited to try some. So I have to finish up that TikTok video and then I'm just going to call it a day regarding this video. I still need to finish editing that one video I was working on that's going to go live tomorrow my tomorrow not your tomorrow yeah so i'd like to thank you guys for joining along on this day in the life i hope that you enjoyed it it was more hectic than usual for me um just kind of getting a lot done using a lot of energy and it probably feels that way because i'm not feeling 100 percent. i have a bit of a cold so you know it is what it is but if you did like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you guys are new. I would love to have you stick around and I will catch you guys in the next one. Woohoo! You've made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.